right so we have this Osterizer 14 speed bender as you can see it is in very good shape and um, the issue that I have with it is that it has um, lose this stem here and you know this is a big issue because as simple as it may look you know it has no use you know to actually turn the, the blade that is within the the, the top or the um, the glass rear that's seated on it all right so we have lost this component right and it's very vital to maintain the rotation of the blender all right so we can take a better look at it and see how it is you know so it doesn't have any support to spin the um the, the 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 metal that is within the glassware and you know some person may have an understanding what i'm talking about all right but i'm going to make sure you see what exactly what we're talking about all right so all right so we want to um show you the tools that we use here all right so i won't be using this because this don't serve me any purpose all right so we need this all right we need um there's a nut driver here all right um possibly we may have to use that and commonly a screwdriver all right and um, a pliers to uh hold anything if it is um necessary so I'm going to further, you know, break it down because I want you to see the details how I um, take this approach and um, solve this problem. All right? So it's just a stem that is broken from the blender. All right? So I did my research and I realized more or less that's a problem. So I plugged it in. It's ready, ready to go. So I'm going to be finding the best or say I'm going to be replacing this broken piece and um, I did make my um, online purchase of the um, parts that was was given it. So, so this is it you know, I did make this purchase here and you know you can make a purchase just about from any appliance stores and lined and know that you, know, you gotta use that to do the replacement all right so fortunately it was just a, a mechanical problem but let's not think it's going to be just just that easy because we have to go inside the machine and we're gonna have to pull out certain wires and so forth to get our way to that piece that is broken so guys watch this so um i'm going to have to unscrew the base in order to get to the motor and um the motor sorry so i have to get to the motor and so after get get into the motor then I have to remove it and get to the stem all right or that section that is being broken so it's gonna take a while maybe not too long though all right Okay guys, so I want to explain how this motor actually works, not just to focus on the physical aspect of the motor, but 
how it actually um, works to rotate the, um, the parts like for example you have the primary coil the secondary coil all right and um, when there's electromagnetic interaction between both coils then you're gonna have a rotation all right and then we got the mechanical part which is the brush and the brush is energized and then that current or the power is transferred to the coil of the rotor all right so that is how it works when these things go bad like the brush we have to replace them as well this is very important all right so at times these part will go bad as well so if we realize the motor is not being powered then more likely then the brush has to replace okay so that is just about it all right and then we have the blade or the fan rather here that we somehow used to cool the motor now um, we're going to address the problem with the the motor which is this physical piece here which attached to the rot rotary parts of the motor all right so this is a part that spins a blender all right and remember I'd made um, purchase for this part all right so let me give you um, a review as to what piece did went wrong so this was a part that was defective and this was attached to the rotary part of the motor all right so this defective piece is what we're going to replace here so um, I'm going to retrieve the, the new piece all right which is um, this part here and um, we have another part that comes with it which is this flat round one piece all right so I just putting it close so I can get to it and the stem which goes to the center to spin the blade of the um, blender which is within the glassware all right so let me just put it aside and this part here is what I'm going to remove so that I can attach the new part that was you know purchased so I'm just gonna use a pliers and I'm going to you know take this one off all right now I got it loose I'm gonna use my hands and take it apart all right now I can get this new piece all right so I secured it to make sure I get it tight so to add a little more pressure I'm just gonna use the pliers here add a little more pressure to it thereafter I'm gonna place this motor in the blender and then the last part I will have to get these pieces on once this complete you know component or this part is inside the blender all right all right so I'm gonna put the motor back inside the case and I'm gonna to have to secure it properly so it doesn't move So before I get to that, let me put back the wires. And remember, we got to mark the wires so that the wire goes exactly where from. Okay, and put 
put something on it maybe you can tape the end of it or maybe take a picture anything that will help you to remember Make sure it's secured and tight. Or else there's gonna be a electrical problem if you're not seated properly. Alright, so gotta make sure that wire now is in the um, spot where it's supposed to be. This is a card rather. Gotta seat it properly. In cork in our location. All right, so we gotta make sure the the motor is seated or secured properly. So these are the screws I should have get in place. All right. So we're not ready for the. Um, we're not ready for the the cover yet. So gotta get these screws in place. Alright, I use my nut driver here because I kind of make sure tight it in place. Alright. This comes with four screws, so I gotta get them get them all in. Almost forget the sequence. Never mind. As I can see, just make sure you know we support the, the motor. We gotta get the cover on. Now we gotta get this final piece, which is the cover here that goes over the um, the stem or the base for that the stem piece. And now we're gonna get the final part in. tightening is needed at this moment so I'm just gonna use the pliers just add a little force to it all right and then finally we have to test all right the test make sure it works 
right way. So always test something, you know. So working properly. Alright, before I ever get to that, let me turn it off. Plug it back in. And then we're gonna test it. Maybe let's put a base on or the glassware. Let's then do a final test. Do the cut. So we're good to go. All right. So that's it. Anyway, guys, give us a like and um, subscribe thank you